Hey guys, I wanted to come on here and just talk a little bit about my experience Uber driving and doing Lyft. Uh, I don't know why I enjoy Uber more than Lyft. I think it's because I get paid more or something, I'm not sure. But I just wanted to share some of my experiences with you guys. Some people have been getting healed, some people I've been praying for, some people have been getting delivered. Um, not everybody, but a lot, uh, some, some people, a few who the Lord prompts me to, some people are just like, you, you pick them up and they just don't want to talk. They just want to be quiet the whole ride. So it's nothing you can do. Um, <clears throat> some people here recently that I've picked up stink really bad. Sorry. Sorry. So if that's you. I apologize. I think it's B.O. <laughs> What? It's B.O. The valet must have had B.O. Can't be. Nobody has B.O. like this. Jerry, it's B.O. But the whole car smells. So? So when somebody has B.O., the O usually stays with the B. Once the B leaves, the O goes with it. <laughs> still smell after all that. I don't know. Well, what are you gonna do? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm selling that car. You're selling the car? You don't understand what I'm up against. This is a force more powerful than anything you can imagine. I mean by stink, I'm talking about like either smell like cigarette buds or it's either one or the other. It's cigarette buds or like freaking cat and dog. This one couple I picked up. They smelled my whole back seat like cat and dog. The girl told me, I'm sorry, I smell like cat pee. My, my cat is in heat and I don't have her fixed. My gosh, it was so strong. The cat's pee smell was so strong and I could smell like, it smelled like cat poop as well. Sorry guys, it, it smelled like cat pee and cat poop, both of them. The boyfriend and girlfriend, they smelled really, really strong. Their whole jacket, and you can see all the cat fur and everything. I was like, ah. So the whole time I'm driving, and what do you do, right? So I'm trying to hold my composure, but the whole time my eyes are itching, uh, my nose. I, thankfully, I have a sunroof, so I was able to open up my sunroof a little bit, roll down the windows a little bit. Um, but, whoo, so. What I'm learning to do, and what I've learned, I don't know if you guys do, but I bought myself an air freshener. So far, it works wonders. You know, something like this, like a, a mist, a Clorox mix. And the reason why I got this kind, it kills 99% nine germs, like a spray mist and not a aerosol. And uh, a lot of times I'm gonna leave this stuff in the car, it's gonna get really hot. So I don't want it to burst or pop or anything like that, anything bad to happen. So I got that and I got some like Clorox wipes, you know, or Lysol wipes to wipe down the back seat because sometimes these people, they smell like cigarette, some smell like weed, hardcore. Some people smell like, like freaking liquor. Uh, it just depends who I'm picking up, who you're picking up. And so if that's you, stop smoking so much and smell your clothes. Just kidding. Anyways, so a lot of people, I mean, uh, you pick up various people's, uh, depending on what time of day you're picking them up. But at people at night, normally they smell like liquor, beer, alcohol, cigarettes. Some people, some people smell like weed, hardcore. I really have a problem with my freaking brand new car is stinking like freaking weed. And then I got my kids coming in and I take them to school the next day. So I'm like, oh my God, the car stinks like funky funk, you know, like, come on, dude. So I'm over here, I'm, I, I guess I'm weird, call me weird, but I'm over here spraying the whole back, cleaning, you know, letting it air out. By the time I'm done, it smells really good. It smells like better than it did before. Plus, I don't want my kids to get sick. Uh, you got all kinds of different people I'm picking up. I don't want them to get sick from these people. People carry germs. And so another good reason to bring Lysol or Clorox or wipes is wipe down the back seats. And I wipe down the handles and the window. Cause a lot of times people are back there, they're rolling down the window, up rolling it up, opening the door. You know, this is just me. I'm very health conscious, mainly because of my kids, mainly because my kids are in the back a lot of times. So I don't want them catching any kind of germs, sicknesses. They already get enough germs at school. 
uh, and bring them home. Anyways, I just kind of want to talk about that. But yeah, so far it's been good. What I've noticed is there's like promotions on Uber Drive. So like certain times a day, like between four and five that, that I'm not able to do because I'm at work. I don't get out of work till 5 p.m. So it's kind of hard for me to do to get into these promotions. There's a cool promotion going on right now that I like about Uber Drive right now. And that's like, if you can pick up, it's just pretty cool. It's like a little thing you can do. If you can pick up 15 people within a, within this week, from Monday through Friday, 15 people, pick, pick up 15 people, make 15 complete trips, then you get 15 bucks extra. So it's kind of a cool incentive. You know, I like it. I also, I don't know why I just didn't, I noticed that the Uber, my Uber passengers that I get are, they, they tip more, they pay more uh, than my Lyft. I don't know why. I don't, I'm not sure if it's because Lyft is cheaper or what. I don't really know the difference. I just thought they were both like in competition. I figured they're both just, you know, trying to drive people, passengers, whatever. So anyways, um, that's just the things I've noticed. I normally try to keep a good clean car. I'm going to try and do some more drives at night. So I feel like the drives at night are, are the ones that I really get to talk to people about Jesus and stuff. I don't know why. Maybe it's because they're like in the, in the mood or something. But uh, that's what I've noticed. The people at night really want to talk about Jesus or talk about God and talk about the end times. Talk about what's happening now. The wokeism, the LGBTQT stuff happening being pushed on our kids they like to talk about stuff like that honestly i don't even give them uh normally what i like to do is uh i noticed that they've been tipping me pretty good too i got a 20 dollar tip the other day that was like what i don't know how i got that but that was pretty cool i've been getting like five dollar tips i think it's because i talk to them and i just ask them questions i'm not like implying things i just i just ask people open-ended questions so what do you think about uh, what's happening with President Trump right now? What do you think was happening in our world with President Biden? I, that's open-ended questions. Like, I just want to ask, I want to see what, what they really feel, you know? And most of the people here in San Antonio that I've picked up are very conservative. Even the ones that you would think would not be conservative. They're actually, you know, a lot of them are Trump supporters. It's crazy you would think not because there's you know this is a democratic city so you would think most of the people here in san antonio would be uh against anti-trump but they're actually not it's surprisingly